Hey guys, we're going to go ahead and start discussing our answers to page 25, our comprehension check for two kinds. Now you will notice that I typed mine out. You have spaces to write on page 25. So let's see what we need to do. So our first question is, in what ways does the, near, the mother pressure her daughter to change? So I answered with, she pressures her daughter to become a child prodigy. First an actress, then, whoops, this should be a T then to learn facts to appear on television, and finally, an accomplished pianist. Our second question is, how does the mother arrange for her daughter to take piano lessons? We have the mother exchanges house cleaning services for piano lessons from Mr. Chong. He is a retired piano teacher that lives in the same building. Now, your answer does not have to be exactly like mine, but it should be similar. So make sure that you have most of this information or some of it. Remember, you did not have to write in complete sentences and you could bullet your answers if you needed to. How does the narrator prepare for the talent show? So the narrator practices, and I put practices in quotations because she doesn't really practice, she just plays random notes, as little as she can for the talent show. She purposely makes no effort, and because Mr. Chong is deaf and cannot hear how well she is playing, he does not notice. Number four, what happens when the narrator performs at the talent show? The narrator's piano performance at the recital is terrible, and no one applauds except Mr. Chong. The narrator expects her mother to be angry because she was poorly prepared. Instead, the mother shows only a quiet, blank look that said she had lost everything. So it's more of a look of disappointment and a look that like she has lost all pride in her child. All right, so let's look at five and six. So for number five, we have what happens to the piano at the end of the story. So the mother gives the daughter her, the old piano and the daughter has it tuned, which means basically she has it fixed up and plays the same song that she played at the talent show. Number six is not really an, a number, but this is the notebook storyboard. Instead of doing a storyboard, I went ahead and put all of the major events in order. So for you, you do not have to do the storyboard, but if you want to copy these events so that you have a chronological order of the story and the, what causes the problems, then you're more than welcome to write this down. In China, the mother's twin daughters die. The mother comes to America. The mother pressures her daughter to become a child prodigy. She tries actress, a whiz kid, and a pianist. The mother exchanges house cleaning for piano lessons. The daughter resists her mother's pressure. At the talent show, the daughter plays a piece badly because she did not practice enough. The mother and daughter have a fight about their expectations. The daughter disappoints her mother in other ways and the mother gives the piano to the daughter once she becomes an adult. From there, you had a research section. It said to choose something that you were not familiar with in the story and research it. Instead of you having to do this, I'm gonna give you a couple different options or a couple different answers. So the first thing I looked up was Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple was a child actress, singer, and dancer in the 1930s. She did a lot of movies, and this is a picture of Shirley Temple. Then I have The Ed Sullivan Show. This was an American television variety show that ran from 1948 until 1971. So that's over 24 seasons. And so here was the picture or the broadcast for The Ed Sullivan Show. The next one that I have is going to be Chinatown in San Francisco. And Chinatown is the largest Chinatown outside of Asia. So the Chinatown in San Francisco is the largest one outside of Asia itself. And this is a picture of a street on Chinatown. The last thing it says research to explore, and it wants you to come up or formulate a research question. So a question that you could use to help you research something. So I'm giving you two examples. It's okay if you did not do this. It says, at what age should the students begin learning piano? So maybe you want to research when is the best age for a student to learn piano or even to play a musical instrument. And then how was life different in China in the 1940s compared to today? So think about the mother flees in the 1940s. How was life different then and why would the mother want to flee at that point in time? 
I hope all this information helps and I hope you have a better understanding of the story and have the correct answers to your questions. Let me know if you need anything else. Happy Friday, guys.